Hello everyone, welcome back. Man, there has been a lot that's happened since last week and this episode I'm going to talk about the current energies that are swirling around us. Um, It's been going on for, I would like, I've been feeling it deeply for the last two weeks, but (sighs) how can I say this? (laughs) Oh, um, my life has had some major exposures to dense energies that have been moving through. And I became fully aware of it about two weeks ago. And even though I was brought fully into the picture of what was happening and I wanted to bring light to it and get it out and, you know, get it moving. I, it wasn't my place. Well, wait, I can't even say it wasn't my place because it felt like it was my place to fix. However, it wasn't only affecting me and it doesn't only affect me. And so I was asked to not say anything. So the last two weeks, I felt like someone had to put a big tape over my mouth and my body was going through the emotions of what this meant for for me, for the closest people to me, and just, I don't even know, just um, life in general, you know, um, and this is going to be a hard conversation because I'm not going to tell you what it, what it is, which is the weirdest thing because I tell you guys everything, but it's not my story to tell and I am going to honor that. But I know that the energy of this is what needs to be transmitted to everyone. So what's happening is August is bringing out, it's like the cultivating of all of the deepest, densest stuff that is around you. Now, it may not be happening directly to you. It could be happening to your closest family members. It could be happening to your partner. It could be happening to your children. It is going to be around you. And it's something that you, as someone that's raising your vibration, are going to be aware of much quicker than other people. Meaning that, let's say everybody knows a story, okay? Everybody is abreast of what is happening. You're in... You're going to see it with clear view. They're going to see it through a clouded view. Meaning that their vibration is closer to the middle, right? Let's say. And I, I would say call that fourth dimension. And so therefore they can still look at the story and see it as the illusion through the illusion that they are still in. So I'm going to give this example of if you're deeply into the right or left of politics, your fourth dimension is believing that one is right, one is wrong, because you're deeply embedded with the story, right? You're invested energy in one side or the other. Same thing with these energies that are moving through. If you're closer to fourth dimension, you won't see it as clearly as someone that is in a higher vibration. Like I could see directly to the source of this energy and like beyond a doubt knew what was happening. However, (laughs) the people closest to me or that, you know, the person closest to me was holding out this hope that it wasn't true and that it's possibly we're just not getting the full picture and just defending this this situation and asked me to keep out of it until more information was brought forward. And man, you guys, I have never felt like in such a a hard place, you know, because it also affected someone else that I cared the most about. So, um, two weeks I had to sit in that. Two weeks I didn't know where this was going to go. I think I mentioned last week that, you know, there were people in my life that were pulling away. I even thought, is it possible they're pulling away because 
they're identifying more with the density than with truth. Like, I didn't know. And I felt like, is this the break? Is this the, the point in, in my reality where I'm going to have to say goodbye to people that I care about the most? And I'm not talking about my, my brother. I'm not talking about any friends. It's, it's the closest people to me. And, um, like last week I was going through, can I let that go? You know, can I have compassion for where they are and, and see where they are and see the bigger picture, but know that they can't and that it, that I have to just hold space for that. And, um, after I recorded that episode, I finally was able to, uh, release and have deep conversations with, with both of the people that this is affecting the most. And, um, we spent an intense weekend of digging as deeply as we could into what was actually going on. And man, like the, the depths of this deceit is really beyond anything that I've ever experienced in my life. And, um, what, why I'm bringing this up to you is, August is going to be a time of deep, deep, deep deceit coming up. And I want you to be prepared for it. I feel like the last four days have been an actual year. Why? Because density is a slower moving vibration. It feels like you're walking in mud through every single second. I was having a conversation yesterday with um, the person that this is affecting. And I was like, it's only been four days, (laughs) but it has felt like a year. And she she was like, oh, I I agree. Like, I can't even believe that it's not even been a week that this all came to light. And it's something that um, that's how you're going to know. When you get caught up in these denser dramas, it's going to feel like molasses. Getting through each dirty little secret is going to feel like the most disgusting, deceitful lies and betrayals. And that is is third dimension. That is literally the, the slowest dimension that we can be involved in. So... If I look different, I feel like I have aged a year in the last four days. And in saying that, I discovered that there were still lingering energies on the people that this affected the most. And how did I discover this was the stories that they would tell themselves to still hold out hope that this wasn't happening. And I finally realized, like, hold up, this isn't even you speaking. So I asked for permission to go into their energy field and clear out what was in there. And sure enough, there were energy cords that were attached, not only cords, but also um, threads. So if you have an investment of attach of, I mean, investment in anything, really, I've already talked about how you put out a thought, there's a thread with it. There's like, we are, we are surrounded by millions of threads and, and threads are thoughts, like literally anything. But imagine that you have an investment in someone in a relationship that is, there's many, let's say a thousand threads that go to that situation, that scenario, that relationship. And All of those are interchanging between that person, the scenario, and you. And all of it is drawing energy from you. And what happens is that you can start to not even know, see clarity anymore because you're being fed this information, not even through, let's say, the person themselves, but through the intention, through the energy, through what they want you to know, through what whatever. And when I went into, um, I'm just going to say Richard's energy, Holy shit, there was a lot in there. It was in the sacral and it was in the heart. And it wasn't just this scenario. It was also some past traumas that had happened that I believe got us to this point. But it was felt like a a tangle of a bowl of spaghetti. That's how the the threads felt. Like I was just pulling them like uh, and and. 
I'm telling you guys this because I think that, that the lower densities are getting desperate. Well, I, I know that 100%. They're getting desperate. They're literally pulling out all the stops. They're doing the exact thing that morals go completely out the window. It's the victim mentality. It's survival of the fittest. It's I, I have no other choice or I'm going to, to die so I can take from whoever I need to take from. And that is pure desperation. Now, what that tells me in an energetic sense is that shit's coming to the hitting the fan, <laughs> like hitting the fan. There is no room for this kind of stuff in a higher dimension. So what it feels like for me is that this scenario, this situation needed to be blasted open for everyone that's involved to see clearly what it is instead of trying to bring that density forward with, let's say, our family unit. And man, it has gone so much deeper than just our family. <laughs> and um, I think that being in this vibration, and if you're listening to this, the reason that I'm wanting to talk about it is that I think it falls to us to hold space for what is even if you can see it in your family members or closest friends can't, and they're in a delusion that, but maybe it's going to be okay, but but possibly, you know, that whatever. I discovered that why could I see it so clearly and, and they couldn't? It was because I could, I can't even... I don't even have a toleration anymore for that lower vibration in the, the the illusion of it. I can see clearly that the threads that are coming from it and I can spot it a mile away and I feel like the moment that it was 100% brought into my reality two weeks ago, I knew like I honestly like I never have panic attacks I'm the most mellow chill person that exists and I couldn't breathe I couldn't breathe and it was like stuck here in my chest and I couldn't breathe and I I couldn't sleep and I I um it was too much because all of a sudden it all came in of what the reality really was and at that point the reality to other people wasn't even you know was maybe at a 10 where I felt it at a, a thousand because I could see how deep it went and are we being shown this for a reason I don't know like because here I am, like, trying to explain, like, no, this is, and I finally had to say, if it looks like a duck, it walks like a duck, it quacks like a duck, it's a duck, we need to wake up. <laughs> and that is so uncomfortable for people that are not at my same vibration. It is like the hardest reality, like slamming up against a wall that is make, I'm wondering, is it that decision factor? Is that, is that that for them that moment of wake up this is your moment and it's been literally a birthing process of just daily conversations and proof coming out and holy crap it it is even with all of the proof still there's resistance to seeing the reality and and i have i got to a place where my compassion for for this person that's been the um the i would say the root of the explosion <laughs> cuz i don't want to call it a perpetrator because no one is a perpetrator we all have agreed to this story but the root of the energy of that density i got to a place where i got so protective of the people that i care about that I couldn't even see the compassion in my heart for this, this route. And not that I ever had any conversations with this person, because I didn't, but normally I can hold compassion for where someone is, but when it uh, like is attacking the core of the people that I care about the most, 
I couldn't find that in my heart. I all I could see is I have to get them to understand what's the bigger picture, what's happening, like you know, and that investigation side of me took over, and me needing to need to to show them because I can only say what I'm seeing and what I'm feeling, but some people. You know, they maybe think I'm crazy. They maybe think like, I don't, I mean, I, the, my family doesn't think I'm crazy, but it's one thing to have proof versus another to, for me to say, this is what I'm feeling. So then it was this process of getting proof and putting it in front of them to help them really get a clear view of the, what is actually truth, right? And Unfortunately, in this case, the truth was much worse than I even felt into in the beginning. Um, and can I hold it? You know, can can I can I be that source of hope and light that we can get through this and that everything will work itself out? And that this happened for a reason and even the lessons around it, you know, and, and the lessons for I, like, I've been like inserting like uh, insights to the, the people that I care about, like, well, okay, this is what this seed did, but here's what you, sh you could do. And the next time this comes up, or this is a pattern that you carry. This is something that has come around in many different guises. This is just the next iteration or the next leveling up of that vibration because you haven't learned the lessons from the past. And and of course, that's pretty harsh, but of course, I've tried to say it with the most love and compassion that I can muster in the moment. But my point in all of this is it's going to get really uncomfortable this month. And in those chaotic moments, try to hold your center, try to not have anger, try to not have judgment on, in this case, I could have done nothing. So it was literally not directly it was like it didn't wasn't a direct attack but it attacked the people that are the closest to me so is that a direct attack I think so <laughs> because when you're protected it just goes a level out and a level out <laughs> so um but because it wasn't my direct story I was asked to stay keep away you know and that's that was hard it really was the hardest like being caught between being caught between two things that are the most important to me. And I think that as we move forward into this month, we are going to be confronted with some pretty ugly truths. And I know when people say that you think collectively, and yes, those exist, but I want you guys to think more locally in your direct life. Hold what you can close. Hold the people that you care about close. If something doesn't feel right, start inserting your energy towards it. Now, in my case, I couldn't speak, <laughs> like literally tape across the mouth. So I was giving energy to it. I was uh, like trying to mm, have the people that it affects affected around me more so that I can just radiate love to them and as it came as it finally got to this place oh not even a week ago uh, where I could speak <laughs> um I think the transition for me being able to speak for that person ha happened smoother than a abrupt like f you know slam into a wall and then it's just supporting the process. And it's like, it feels like kind of giving birth to something and, and all, like a release of something. And today as I record this, it's the full moon and it is a huge release. So if you guys are experiencing anything like this, please try to hold your vibration. I, and I say that in myself struggling with it. So, um, I can't think of any thing worse than your, 
you're the people you love the most being attacked because it's not something I have control over, right? It's I have to, to allow what is. And that's just taught me a lot about myself even. You know, it's taught me a lot about... I, actually, before this, I had never gone into Richard's energy. You know, I've done a help helped him with headaches and stuff, but I've been have a very clear boundary with the people that are closest to me because I don't want my ego to be influencing them in any way, and I don't I don't trust myself that I won't see things that I am not projecting. But yeah, this got finally to a point that I, I asked if I had if I could have the permission. And what I want to say here, you guys, is that we all have the ability to work out the energy of ourselves and the people around us. I, I'm saying that because yes, there are tools, but all you have to have is an intention. All you have to have is a pure heart and protection around you. And go into it. Just ask to be opened up to the person's energy. Then feel what is there. And if you encounter anything, you hold space for it. You ask it to leave. You, you can call in the support of Archangel Michael. You can call in ancestral energy. In the case of Richard, it was very much a Native American energy that came through. And I almost threw up because it was so dense. So... Let it, like in my case, it moves in my body, but it will be different for each person. But my point is, it get permission from the person that's going through whatever they're going through and start to feel into it and help assist with this transition because it feels like it's literally at that pinnacle where it could go either way. And of course, we want our closest allies and supporters and loved ones to move forward you know at least that's how I feel and I try to have compassion and and hope for that everybody is exactly where they're supposed to be and you know one of these two people I didn't think was going to move forward I didn't think that they would be able to see the truth but I was wrong and I'm just so grateful for that because this person surprised me and is taking action and is do, implementing changes and is making very clear boundaries and is moving that moving forward. I thought this could take a year. You know, I thought that this would take a year for this person to work through the reality that was dumped on them. But no, look, holding a vibration, you don't know what the other people are capable of. So... What I want you to know is that these are times that are going to get very challenging and I want you to know I'm in it. I am in it, <laughs> but I am not going anywhere and I am holding space and I am not going to allow... Look, I, everything that I think could have been done has been done, but it could have been a zillion times worse and the in, it was already in the works to make it a zillion times worse. So I feel like... It was presented at a level that was manageable and nobody died, you know, um, everybody is healthy and then we rebuild and we move forward. And I try to like bring in the gratitude for that it was brought to light now versus a year from now. And even though it's devastation for everybody involved, it also is a chance for us to see how much worse it could have gotten and be gra grateful and have gratitude for it stopped at this point. I know this one is dark, guys. <laughs> and um, for that, I'm sorry. But I want you to know that we are here to bring as much light to these situations as possible and feel into what doesn't feel right, feel into the icky, sticky dense conversations or even if it's not a conversation in my case it was this kind of story that I felt over here kind of whirling but I didn't have access to it and I was kind of deliberately keeping from access to it so I knew it was there in the peripheral but I had to have trust that it was going to work itself out and 
hope that, you know, the people that were involved were awake. The thing I, what I discovered though, and the one that's closest to it is of course, it's easier to bury your head in the sand than to open up your eyes and see what's right in front of your face. And of course, now that it is come to light, it's like, holy shit, how did I not see this? Well, let me just say, if you're plugging into uh, watching TV when you get off work every day, or if you're disconnecting because you're reading a book or listening to uh, whatever, YouTube, anything that you check out of, your energy is not present to know what's happening in your reality. So in this case, it was a conscious decision to check out, to not see what was right in front of them. That's another, that's another choice. Like that is another, and I, I was witness of this and I had seen this going on for about 10 months, but I didn't say anything. Just, I knew something's not right. Something doesn't feel right, but this is their process that they have to go through. Now, hopefully this particular mm, blow up, <laughs> uh, brings consciousness to this this situation and this person and that it doesn't keep evolving and, and just repeating in the next, you know, year and the next with the next something. <sighs> but the biggest lesson that I realize is that I may look like I have, I'm creating these conspiracy theories to some people, but in reality, it's because I'm seeing it 10 steps ahead. And there's a reason for that. So, you know, um, uh, hold your space when you need to speak up when you need to, <sighs> like, you know, throw the hammer down if you feel like it will be received, <laughs> because that's essentially what I had to do. <laughs> and, um, you know, now we rebuild and we go forward with grace and we be thankful for all of the lessons that we are always brought because it's definitely bringing to light an evolution in these two parties that need to grow and need to embrace in themselves, which, you know, they wouldn't use those terms. And I, I only sprinkle in a little bit of my magic here and there because I can be too much for a lot of people. But in all of it, I hope that the evolution of their selves, they've gotten past the denial because that was a big part of it. They were in denial for a very long time. Now they're in, um, you know, the judging themselves for getting into the situation and also in action. But it's, it's, even though it's only been four days, oh my God, it feels like it has been forever. So I'm here for it. I am moving through it and I'm going to be releasing a lot of it with the moon. So if you guys are feeling any threads of this in your lives, please know you're not alone. And this is a collective purge. It is a collective purge because a lot of light codes have been brought in, brought to the planet not only through the activations of the sun and Lionsgate, but I've also been shown that the beings here that are full light bodies now are actually bringing the light directly from the planet radiating out. So when we look at the Schumann resonance and we see those spikes, it's actually coming now from within the planet. We are activating and it is coming forward and we are actually our own timeline of evolution. The more people that alight, the more that, that frequency is rising and the more light we're going to see in the Schumann resonance. So understand that as these densities come forward, light is right there with it, you know, and the only reason that it's getting more intense is it's really uncomfortable for those dense energies. I mean, really uncomfortable. And that's a beautiful thing. You know, like in the past, these things could have gone on for decades, for years, you know, these deceits, and that's not possible anymore. And in that, I have faith and I have hope that we are on track. We are moving forward. This is just a, a very pivotal moment in the process. So um, I hope this is helpful and I will speak to you guys next week.